Hi guys, today we're doing a fun round of color bingo, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so I'm Nikki, I love colorful makeup as you may see and today we're doing a really colorful look and it is also a challenge so if you want to join then please do so. Um, just use the hashtag colorfungroup, I will put it up here. Um, what it is about? Well, I select um, how many randomly, how many colors we should use. It's normally from one to five. And then after this, like say three. So after this, I select randomly three numbers that correlates to a color chart. And then we had to have to do a look, a full face, not only eyes, you can do a full face with it and uh, make a look with it. I will blend in here the three colors for this week's uh, color challenge and I think we're on, on round 33 which is amazing. I could have never thought this would be this amazing. I did select a few uh, palettes that has the shades in it so hopefully this will be working out. As you see I also did the lips matching at least somehow, um, to the colors. So I will zoom you in and then we start with the makeup. Welcome to my face. Uh, for the purple I chose from the Anastasia Jackie Aina palette, I chose the big wig, like this kind of purple. It's a little bit more uh, warm, I think. Uh, you can choose a lot of palettes. Uh, I think the BH Cosmetics, Zodiac and Love Signs have quite similar colors. I know the uh, BH regular line has similar colors, um, Beauty Bay has similar colors. So you can choose any colors you like and have on hand. But I will start with, like I said, the dark tone and a small crease brush. This is the Zoeva 231. And I just pick up a little bit of the color and then just place it in my inner corner and then just blend it a little bit. I do have quite, do have a plan. Let's see how far this is going to work. So this will be like the inner part of the lid so to heal like the mid of, uh, mid of my eye let's see if I can do we do we will do a cut crease so it's not important that it is 100% clean so far so let's do the other end then let's uh, continue for the second color, the teal, I will use my Kaleidos Electric Turquoise and then this um, matte shade, which is, I think, Force Field. I think you can, like I said, use every um, shade you like. And this is a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush. It's just a blender brush, so I can, you know, just have fun with it. So use it mirror so and I just pack this on my outer corner she is so stunning I just love these Kaleidos shades I try to blend this a little bit with the purple shade I'm not too worried about blending in here because I will do a cut crease in a sec so just try to blend both shades and then we're doing a cut crease so this is blended both colors let's do a cut crease I will use my ABH um, eye primer I love this stuff and it's really really nice also for oily lids just use a small amount on, oh, you can see, I'm pale. <laughs> you can see I used a small amount and I will use like a flat brush 
This one is from BH, I think. Yes, it is. And then if I just use this and then I will just coat both sides with the concealer so that it is good coated. And then I will just go in and stamp or like slowly move the brush where I want to be, like the cut crease to be. Not too much eye primer because then it will get everywhere. So, and when we have this, I will go in with the turquoise again and just fluff it on the outside of my crease. Again, just stamp it, stamp it a little bit so that it has a good, you know point like this you can definitely see it does have a nice nice crease and now I want to use the Tr Thron shade this one this is the shimmer shade from the palette I use a flat brush and I need to clean it because <laughs> all my brushes are dirty <laughs> just use the Thron, Thron shade I don't know and then just pack that, not till the end, but just pack it in here till I got to the end of the cut crease. You can definitely see if I can lift that shade. And yes, it has fallout, which is of course not what I wanted, but you can definitely see. I, I mean, I love the shade. You don't, I don't know, brush. Just Given the fallout. Oh boy! The fallout though. So, let's see what I can do about the gray shade. I think the gray shade is a gray shade, but I think I want to use like the, like a mix. This is the Julius Place Nubian 3 Coral. I want to use these two as my gray shade and mix these and then just put them here in the inner corner because well it makes sense for this look so let's do this shall we also flat brush and then I will mix both of these well this is kind of fun to not see what I'm doing and then I will Use them in my inner corners, Just like this. It's a little bit less sparkle than the turquoise shade, but we can use a little bit of the shockwave, like this shade from the uh, Colados uh, palette, electric turquoise, just so. It gives a little bit more sparkle because we all need a little bit of sparkle, am I right? So just a little bit so it does have a little bit more of a sparkle. It does look really pretty though. I love it. I will do this on the other side and then we do the lower lash line. So I did it on both sides. For the lower lash line I want to go in with the turquoise shade again, just to connect both, um, like the top lashes and the bottom one, just a little bit. I would love to do a little bit more of the gray shade. And then I want to use from the Juvia's New Band Coral 3, I want to use this gray toned or to gray tone and then just on a small pencil brush and going in like this just connecting the inner corner or inner tear duct with the gray 
and then I will use for my inner corners just to lighten up a little bit everything I will use the silver from the um, Ju Juvia's Place palette because I think this is a really really nice and bright shimmer shade Just in the inner tear duct, just to lighten up everything a little bit. Yes, this is looking really nice. I will finish my look and then I will see you in a bit. So, we're back. I paired it with a little bit of lashes. These are the Rival Loves Me Beyond the Shadow Lashes. These are the limited edition. I'm testing them out if I like them or not. I also have a tear liner in my waterline, um, which is from Catrice. I don't know if they have it at the moment. I don't think so. But yeah, this is the finished look. What do you think? Did you think I meet up with the cutters. I will link all the products I used uh, in my info box below and um, if you are not subscribed yet please consider subscribing. Um, yes, uh, then we see us the next time. Bye bye!